Welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique. Today we're going to make something really fun and we're going to use another one of those Dollar Tree pumpkin wreath frames. I know this is the third tutorial, but my friend Andy contacted me and she made the most adorable snowman with a pumpkin frame and she asked me if I could teach you guys. So here is the video for it. I hope you enjoy it. I did my own little tweaks on it, but Ambie has the most cute and adorable pumpkin wreath, and she even sells kits for it on her Facebook page. So check out her link, it's in the description box below, and let's get started and have some fun. All right, so let's get started. Um, yes, I'm bringing you another tutorial with this pumpkin frame from Dollar Tree. You can find these hopefully still at Hobby Lobby as well. And I hope you have some of these when you see these in the middle of summer next year. This is September 2020. When you see these in your local Dollar Tree in July of 2021 or whenever you watch this video, buy some because there's going to be crafts you can do with them. And I am sharing with you today um, a wreath made by Ambi from Arts by Ambie's Designs. And she has reached out to me. She's one of my followers and she's um, purchased some of my tutorials. And so she's made wreaths with my techniques. And she reached out to me and said, hey, would you, would you be willing to do this as a video? Because I think people would like to know how to do it. And I was like, yes. So thank you, Ambie, for sharing your idea with me. I appreciate it. I think it was brilliant to use a Dollar Tree microfiber, one of these, you know, um, the soft microfiber cloths to clean your car with. This is brilliant because for a snowman, it has a nice texture. And this is just a really nice, easy way, and it's really the perfect size. So for a buck, you can't go wrong with that. So let's get started. Make sure you visit Ambie's Facebook page. I'm gonna leave it in the description box below. So please let her know that you appreciate her sharing um, her techniques with us. And also if you wanna buy a wreath, she makes beautiful wreaths. So you can contact her on her Facebook page. Okay, so I already have one of the cloths already um, out of the package. And so basically what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna cut that little tag off. We're gonna lay it across our um, frame. So basically, if you watched my other pumpkin tutorial where I use fabric, we wanna make sure that it's um, kind of taut, if that's the right word, or stretched just right. So what I wanna do is I want to attach it here and attach it there to get it started, and then we'll finish it up because we wanna make sure that we have enough fabric all the way around. So I'm gonna start with the top here and I'm gonna flip it over. All right, so what I wanna do here is I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue right under here. And I'm gonna show you what I found the other day at Dollar Tree to get us started here because I think it's a great little tip. They had these little clamps and I liked them because they're a little bit, I'm gonna um, use two here. They're a little bit more secure than just like a, a straight clothespin but you got six pieces for a buck, and I think that's a really good deal. And it says heavy duty, and it definitely is heavy duty. Okay, so we put some glue down there. I'm gonna stretch this out, and you really could use either side. It's just, they're both about the same. One side might have just a tad bit more texture than the other. So I'm just gonna make sure that we have, you know, gotta make sure that we have enough. So I'm gonna pull this, and I'm gonna pull it tight. Okay, and I'm gonna put some glue. And then I'm gonna put one of my little clamps. All right, so let's just pull it tight. Watch your fingers, because this hot glue is hot. All right, so I'm gonna, and I'm gonna go like that. All right, so now let's do to the sides. All right. If you've noticed, I have no nails. <laughs> we are working on some home improvement projects and so doing a lot of painting. And I just decided, you know what, I can't do that. So I'm doing the all natural look. <laughs> so 
So if you're wondering, Julie, where are your nails? Yeah, I just didn't feel like getting them done and have just to have them break off, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna pull this pretty good. And you see, this is really a simple idea, but yet such a cute one. And I know it's September and you're like, Julie, this is winter. But you know what? If you see a pumpkin frame, you're gonna wanna buy it. This isn't gonna be helpful if I post this in November or December and there's just no way to get a frame. And I know a lot of you may have bought them, oh, from Dollar Tree. So now that I've done that, so now I'm gonna focus on these sides and then I will fill in the rest here. So I'm just gonna glue, 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 and then I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna glue all the other spots and then I'll come back and we'll start on the rest. Okay, so as you can see, I got this like car cleaning rag um, over the frame. I did trim off like the corners and um, it went on pretty easy. This is a pretty simple project to do. The next thing we're gonna work on is what are we gonna do for the nose? Now, Ambi used like this little Dollar Tree um, carrot that she had, but of course we can't find carrots at Dollar Tree right now, but um, she had covered it with this really cute um, fabric. And I thought, well, I'm gonna give you two options here. I'm gonna show you these little foam, um, like they look like Christmas trees or cylinders. I don't know, what, what are these called again, guys? Oh, and of course I've already ripped off the thing here. But I got these at Hobby Lobby and they were 50% off. So you get five of them for $2 and, or maybe it was 40, I don't know. By the time you get to this, it might be 50. So what I'm gonna do is I just cut out a small piece of the fabric. I'm gonna take my glue gun and just put a little bit of glue on the tip here. And you might wanna have like a low temp glue gun. I only have the high temp temp. So I'm just going to fold over a part right there, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna start it over here and we're just gonna roll it this way. So now I'm gonna put some glue on the fabric. All right, I'm gonna roll it over there so that it will get on. And you could use, um, you know, if you had like some pens, like um, quilter pens or just, and just keep rolling. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue here and then I'm gonna add a little bit of glue here. And then we're gonna cut off the excess, all right? So I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'm going to cut this off and this off really quick here. I don't know, might need to let it dry a little bit. Okay, so this will be the bottom, okay? <laughs> that won't be the pretty part. And then I'm just going to go along the bottom, the base, of our little tree is what it reminds me of, like a little Christmas tree. And you could use this as your nose, okay? I feel like this might be a little bit big. Do what you like. If you like that look, you go for that look, all right? So that's an option. And what you would do is I would just put like a piece of wire um, in here and just, or you could even just glue it. Let's be honest, you could just glue this. This isn't going to be like an all, outdoor weather type of a wreath because of the simply because of the white. You won't, wouldn't want this to get dirty, so you would want it to be protected. Now, the other idea I had, and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you these buttons in a minute, was using this stiffer piece of felt. You will find it like in the aisles at Hobby Lobby or Michael's where they sell like felt by the piece. And so what I did was I just cut out a triangle. It doesn't have to be perfect, just a simple triangle. And I'm gonna cut out one right here. We're gonna make this one a little bit skinnier, I think. All right. So that's a skinnier triangle, okay? So what you could do is you could take some of these pipe cleaners and start it. Okay. Feeling a little bit better now. It would probably be a good idea if you used a roller and instead of doing what I'm doing. I know you guys are probably like, okay, Julie, that's hilarious. All right, I think this is gonna work. So there we go. And you could just leave it at this. This could be your nose and you could be done, okay? I've done this in other projects with other snowmen. 
Um, but what I would do is I would just put a little bit of glue on the back and I'm just going to wrap, ouch, <laughs> be careful. I'm going to wrap this around. I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to come back. Okay. So it's pretty much dry. So I just went over the back of it. And so now we're going to keep, we have it started here and I know they have the little fingertips. Um, mine are in here somewhere but I'm being really lazy right now and I just wanna get this done. So what I like to do with this um, pipe cleaner is it just kinda of adds a little bit of texture for a nose and I just, I just like it. So I'm just gonna keep wrapping it around so like that one ended. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna just get my clippers here. I'm gonna wrap my next pipe cleaner around it. Okay. And we're going to keep going all the way around. I should probably do this a little bit. There we go. All right. Instead, of, and then you can add a little bit of glue. Let's just add just a dab and it'll hold it in place. So if you don't have a carrot, this is just another option you can use. Okay. This is just something simple. Um, you wouldn't even have to use this felt. Say you use a piece of cardboard from a box and then you just wrapped it. Um, you could use some heavy duty aluminum foil. Just kind of trying to think of what could you use to kind of make that texture, okay? I'm gonna move this. So you can kind of see the texture against it. I kind of like that. So I'm gonna finish this up. It'll probably take about two more of these and you'll just, you know, glue it on the back and then we'll have a nose. Okay, so here is our little nose. As you can see, um, I just kind of tucked the, the end of it underneath. So what I liked about this version of a nose is that once you put the wired Chanel Sims or pipe cleaners, whatever you want to call them, it does make a more flexible nose. So what I want to do is I'm just going to glue this on. You could definitely use wire if you don't want to put any kind of glue, but I do like to use the um, Gorilla Glue Sticks and like all of my supplies, you can always find them in my Amazon store and the link is always in the description box below. So I'm kind of looking at this, kind of eyeing it. So this is the center and I think that's kind of where I want the nose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of this, this little nose I've made and I'm just gonna hold it down. And I like the fact that the nose has some you know, give to it. So, um, you make sure you check out Ambie's face, Facebook page, Art by Ambie Designs, because she will have a picture of hers and, and it was really super cute. But, um, you know, I, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a different option here. So that's another option you can do for the nose. Um, I also wanted to mention my friend, um, Amber from the Southern Girl Can, while this is drying, she made a really cute snowman, but she did it with the yarn. And so I'm going to link her um, video in the description box below. So go check her out as well and tell her that Julie sent you. But um, I'm really thinking this is super cute. So let's work on the eyes next. All right, so this is just a bag of eyes. I always like to get these when they're on sale at Hobby Lobby. Um, I've also been told you can find them at Walmart and, um, you know, Joann's Fabrics has something like this too. So I'm just gonna kind of look through here. I know we want, we want two for the eyes. So I'm thinking the two big ones, but I'm just gonna like decide. I think I need about eight for the, um, the mouth. I think that'll be good. So I'm gonna go with these, the smaller version. And so I'll come back and I'll show you how we're gonna put them. On. So at this point, I'm gonna use hot glue, but what you could do also is you could take like a black pipe cleaner. You could go through one side and the other, and this will go through your um, washcloth or whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> you know, you could also, if you couldn't find these white chamois 
car wash things. You could also get like a kitchen towel and do this as well, like a white kitchen towel or a white hand towel and do that as well. And the pipe cleaners, as long as they're pretty stiff, they will go through the fabric, no problem whatsoever. And then um, if you don't want to use the glue, you don't have to use the glue. It's just another kind of an option for you. But for me, I'm just going to glue these on. I'm going to kind of, I'm going to look here. You want them to be pretty symmetrical. You want them to look good. So I think that looks pretty good. I know I'm at a different angle than you can see, but I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on my button here. Probably have a little too much glue there, to be honest. All right. So I'm going to put one eye right there and then I'm going to glue the other one so that it looks good. Oops. Got some of the pipe cleaner fuzzies on it. Okay. And what I'm finding is that the glue really adheres very well to this chamois. Um, I was kind of surprised when I was putting it together how well um, it's holding together. So we've done the eyes. So let's just let that sit there for a moment and then we'll do the, the mouth. Okay, so we have our eyes on here and I added the little um, Chanel stems there and now I'm gonna add the mouth. Now, whenever I do a mouth, even on my other snowman and I will link um, the video to my other snowman out of Deco Mesh in the description box below. I always start with, I want an odd number for my mouth. So I always start with one directly under the nose and then I'm just gonna kind of work on making sure it looks right. So I'm just gonna kind of play around here. You're just gonna get it to where you want it. Um, a five might look okay, but I think that goes up just a little too high there. So I think I'm gonna move this down and I think I want, because we have a wider a wider look that looks about just right, that's what I want. So let's start with the first one. We're gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom. I probably, I don't think I'm gonna worry about the Chanel stems here um, just because the holes are smaller, but again, you could definitely do this. I would maybe even just use some thread and a needle and just glue it down first and then that way you've got it where you want it. So let's do this one. Here we go. Do the other side. So are you getting ready for Christmas? Are you thinking about the crafts that you want to make? You know, this has been such a weird year and I think giving something 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 homemade or something that you make is such a beautiful gift to give. So I don't know, I think I'll be making some presents this year. Now this one seems a little, yeah, just wanna make sure they're just about right here. So do you make gifts? Do you do like homemade ornaments? What do you like to do? Leave me a comment below and let me know. And I love the whole Dollar Tree vibe here going on. Even the hat is from Dollar Tree and Ambie told me where to get the hat. And I was like, are you kidding? I've never seen them there. But that's a part that I don't usually go to. So I'm gonna look at this. I think I'm gonna put it like right on the wire there. Cause I want him to look like he's smiling, you know? <laughs> so anyways, well, this side's not gonna be quite on the wire. That's all right. I'm not striving for per perfection. We're just doing an idea here and another thought. So, but you could do this, um, man, if you wanted to make an apple, you could get red fabric, a red towel, make an apple, make the stem and put some leaves on it. And then you'd have an apple. So I think that looks pretty good. I know they're not perfect, but that's okay. They don't have to be perfect. So what are we gonna do for the hat? So Ambie told me she got this hat in the decorative like um, party decor stuff and I had never seen these. They had so many colors. This one says happy birthday on it. And I was just shocked. I couldn't believe it. I had not seen them before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at this 
And I think I want to do him a little bit from this angle. You could go this angle, you could do this angle, whatever you want to do, but I kind of like that look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to, let's see here, okay, right there. And I'm just going to cut it. So you could make this work for not only one snowman, but two snowman. And you know what? This would work good on my deco mesh snowman. And as you can see, one's going to be smaller than the other. Okay, Julie. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Now you will need to use glue if this is the ribbon that you're going to use. But I'm thinking I might cut off a piece of the fabric that I'm going to use for his, um, oh, for his scarf and add it. So. so this is what we're using for the scarf. And I think what I wanna do is I wanna make a strip of this and I wanna put it on the actual um, hat. So I'm just gonna cut out a piece out of the fabric here and I'm probably gonna just fold it over. So let me cut this out and we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little pizzazz onto this hat. If you don't like the sparkles, you could always take some spray paint and spray over the sparkles. Um, maybe if you can't find one that is the right color, um, you might be able to do that too. So I kind of just like making this a little thicker of a brim, like he's gonna have a nice, um, Oh, a nice buffalo check hat, just to give them a little bit of pizzazz. Okay, just gonna glue that there. For the front, that looks pretty good. They also sell like foam hats at Hobby Lobby. I've seen them there too, if your Dollar Tree doesn't have this. I will have my Dollar Tree link in the description box. You can order um, things from Dollar Tree and have it delivered to your Dollar Tree. I know when it comes to like certain things, they have to be ordered by the case, but not everything is that way. So if there are things that you're like, oh, I wish I could get that at my Dollar Tree, well, some you can. So that is our hat. So let's look at how we're gonna put this on. So what I wanna do is I wanna kind of angle the hat down just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna get um, two black zip ties and I'm gonna zip tie it to this frame, like one here and one here. And what's nice about this is this is gonna be the hanger for our wreath. So I'm just gonna take a very sharp scissors. I'm gonna be very careful and I'm going to put a hole through the top of the hat I'm gonna put it down in there, okay? And I'm gonna zip tie that hat to the frame. I'm gonna go to this other side. Yep, I'm liking what's happening here. Put another, sorry, I wanna make sure you can see this, another hole. And now our hat will be attached. And let's just put a little bit of glue so that his hat goes down just a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here and a little bit of glue here. So we were, we're almost done with our snowman. I'm gonna kind of hold that down and then I'm gonna show you how to put the scarf on him. Okay, for the finale of this adorable little pumpkin head um, who happens to be a snowman um, is the scarf. So all I did was I took some felt, or not felt, um, flannel. It's about eight inches wide and about 24 inches, no, 44 inches long. Now, you could do a longer scarf if you want. You could take your glue gun and you could just glue your edges like that um, to kind of help do reduce the fraying, I guess, but I'm just gonna fold mine under. And um, you could also, if your Dollar Tree has the scarves already set out, mine does not, you can get a Dollar Tree scarf and make this work too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one end of my scarf <laughs> and I'm going to just um, gather it together. I'm gonna flip my snowman over and we are going to connect it on this one wire here. So I'm just gonna slip a zip tie through here. Just one end, okay? 
gonna get my cutters. All right, and then I'm gonna bring it around the front of my snowman. And while I do it, I'm just tucking under, you know, my little phrase, and I'm gonna tuck under here as well. Now, we're gonna do the same thing basically on the back of this little snowman, okay? We're going to flip them up. I'm gonna pull up here. I think I'm gonna put a zip tie like in the middle here too, but let's flip them over and I'm going to zip tie to the frame itself. All right, so now how are we gonna get that two look, okay? So this is obviously one and it's a little too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to bring it up here. I'm gonna zip tie it to the fabric, okay? I'm gonna flip it over. So this is where you might wanna take some glue and you might want to um, kind of mold the scarf around your snowman. All right, so it might be a good idea to just kind of glue a little bit there. So all I'm gonna do, do is I'm, I folded this over and I'm gonna find where I need to cut it. So we cut it there. We might need to make it, see mine's a little jagged, so we're gonna make it a little bit straighter here. And when you do a scarf, it's never completely the same length. So we're gonna just do this. And then I'm just gonna cut little frays into my scarf. You know, there's several ways you could do this. So this is just the way I'm gonna do it today. Um, Cause I didn't wanna use a bunch of my fabric or cut it in different ways. So I'm gonna just do this. And I think he's super duper cute. I'm gonna probably add a little bit of glue like underneath here to help um, make him look a little bit more polished. But I think he's cute, guys. Tell me what you think. If you've made it this far, number one, thank you for watching. Number two, thank you, Ambie, for sharing your wreath with us. I appreciate it. If you have ideas that, and you make a wreath and you'd like to see me make a video on it, message me and let me know because I'm always looking for ideas. Sometimes it's hard to come up with brand new ideas. So when you guys help me out, it's really great. So I love it. So make sure you check out her Facebook page. It is Art by Ambi Designs. And um, she has more than just wreaths. If you're looking for a Christmas wreath or a fall wreath or a neat little sign or something, check her out. Okay. So, um, and make sure you follow her page. Let her know that you appreciate her sharing this idea with me. Um, if you've made it this far, number one, thank you for your time. Number two, leave me an emoji. Leave me your favorite emoji in the comments. I know I say leave me a snowman. Maybe it's something about Christmas, but leave me an emoji and make sure you join um, my group, Wreath Creators and More. It's about everything crafty. We would love to have you. Um, follow me on Facebook and Instagram and make sure you hit that subscribe button here on YouTube and that notification bell so you know that I'm going to be putting out a video. I do try to kind of been trying this whole Saturday at noon um, schedule and it seems to be working out. So let me know what you think about this cute wreath. Um, I will see you next time with some, something new and fun to make. So bye-bye.